Hey guys, it's your girl T. So I want to talk about this story that's coming from nasty ass North Carolina. So what's going down is that basically we have this video that went viral the other day on social media. And you see this big black burly kid and he's running after this little white boy. And he grabs his backpack and he flings him to the ground. And the white boy's like, you black piece of shit, leave me alone. And then he walks off and the black boy comes back and he just slings him to the ground again. Ooh, nigga. <laughs> Fucking black piece of shit. That's on sight, bitch. Why the fuck is he walking away? Hey, 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 so of course when the video initially went viral, people thought that the black kid was at fault. He's a bully, look how big he is. He's just a big black bully, fuck him. You know, so a lot of folks were going in on the black kid, but now the truth has come out a day later. So what is happening with this situation is that basically the young man, his name is Micah Speed, he has been the subject of racial bullying by this white kid. And it's been going on for months. And it just got to the point where it was building up and building up. He had been asking the teachers to do something about it and the teachers chose not to. He was even telling the guy, you know, name your son convict and crackhead and you know, just all types of bullshit. And so once he he got suspended for 10 days all of the students at the school came together to protest every period to allow Micah to come back to school especially being that the white boy did not get suspended at all so I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary Bring Micah back. several Bring students from Wake Forest High School are standing by the student who was suspended after a violent video goes viral now this is video from students at school this morning chanting and protesting an Instagram video surfaced late last week showing one student being grabbed and thrown to the floor in a hallway. Now, according to an online petition, Larry Walsh used racially charged language against Micah Speed and in retaliation, Speed threw Walsh to the floor. Speed was then suspended from school, but Walsh did not face punishment. School officials say they are aware of the video and are investigating. Instagram appears to show an altercation between two students at Wake Forest High School. Well, this morning, students were out protesting. Gloria Rodriguez is live at Wake Forest High School. Gloria, what's the story behind this video? Well, you know, we did talk to one of the students that was in the video and also his family. They said they had just met with officials here at Wake Forest High School, and they did shed light into what they say happened in that video. Now, that student also says that his suspension was decreased to five days from 10 days, and he also says that he wants everybody who saw that video to know something. Take a look. I just want to say I'm not a violent person. That's not who I am. Um, everybody who's known me and that knows me currently um, know that I try to avoid confrontation. And I usually laugh things off, but I was just pushed over the breaking point. <laughs> Micah Speed says he grabbed the student's backpack and knocked him to the ground twice when he couldn't take it anymore. The video was posted on Instagram shortly after it happened Friday at Wake Forest High School. We've been unable to reach the other students in the video, but Micah says that he had been racially harassed for the past two months and that the student giving him a hard time went as far as threatening to kill his family. The student who initially posted the video wrote about the alleged threat as well. Now, here's what Micah has to say. He said things like, um, I need to name my son convict and crackhead, my children, because that's what they grow up to be. He called, um, he threw the N-word around very loosely, said things that I look like I uh, bathed in coffee, coffee beans and dirt. That, you know, but I, I, I kind of... The 15-year-old football player says that he reported the racial harassment to a teacher three times, and today students protested after every period to show their support of Micah and asked school leaders to bring him back. There's also a petition on change.org that has more than 1,300 signatures asking that the other student be suspended as well. And the spokesperson for the Wake County School District tells me that they did look into Micah's reports of racial harassment, but she says that she can't say what, if anything, was done about it. She does say that they are investigating this incident, but says that she can't comment further about it. <laughs>
Bring Michael back! 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 All right, so you guys just watched the video. You know, the thing that bothered me about the viral videos, if you see the teacher's reaction, she was so quick to come at the black kid, Micah, and say, you know, what are you doing? Don't touch me, don't touch me, as if he was gonna punch her in the face. And then you hear her saying, it's just words. He just said words to you. No, bitch, words hurt. And when somebody's constantly picking at a scab and constantly picking at you and picking at you and picking at you, eventually just like a scab it's going to erupt you can't keep calling somebody out their name and calling them crackheads and niggers and everything else and just constantly think that you're going to get away with it and the fact that this teacher knew what was going on because she clearly stated in the video it's just words that means she was condoning the behavior and she knew about the behavior and she chose not to do anything with it. And the fact that the school only suspended one party when multiple kids have come out to say that Micah was not even the one at fault here. Yes, he shouldn't have put his hands on that boy, but this is why he put his hands on that boy. So if you're going to suspend him for doing that, you also need to suspend that boy. Because like I always tell y'all, for every action, there's a reaction. And you can't keep fucking with folks and then getting your feelings when they react how you didn't expect them to react. You know, so I was disgusted watching that video once I found out the reason why he snapped like that. And that's why I say with viral stories, you always want to kind of get the before and after what happened. Because initially when that was posted online, people took the black boy to be a bully. I know that's how I looked at it. Like, damn, why is he picking on a little white kid? You know what I'm saying? And that's how people took it because it was only a 10 second clip and we only saw the ending. But nobody knew what was going on before that. And the fact that all of these students, black and white alike, are coming to defend the black kid and are holding protests in the school, that says a lot about his character. That says a lot about who this kid is. I got a good vibe from him, very articulate. You know what I'm saying? Spoke his mind, explained the situation. Notice how nobody's taking up for the white kid? Possibly because this white kid has been doing this all year and people don't think that it's okay. So I'm glad that the kids stuck up for Micah Speed. I'm glad they spoke out and I'm glad that they went and, you know, basically caught the school system and Wake County out on their BS. So now as of late, Wake County took his 10-day suspension to a 5-day suspension. Um, so now he's received a 5-day suspension. Meanwhile, this bully has still received no form of punishment. And it's been about three days now. So, you know, the whole situation is just sad and it's unfortunate. But it still shows you that racism is alive and well, even in the school system. Because for everything that that boy was saying, the fact that white students are also collaborating with what Micah had to say and the school is still not suspending the white student, I think it's BS. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning this whole Wake County school situation. Do you feel like Micah was at fault because he put his hands on the white kid? Or do you feel like they were both at fault and the white kid should have been suspended just as well as Micah should have been suspended? Or do you feel like Micah should not have been suspended at all and it's the teacher's fault for not dealing with this and allowing this situation to escalate? And then also, how do you feel about what the teacher said in that video, how she goes up to Micah and she's like don't hit me don't hit me it was just words it was just words i felt like her actions and what she stated let me know everything i needed to know about that video so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.